Hello and welcome back to a sound exploration. In this video, my goal was to experiment with drums, modular synth and the cicada. And so as usual, my bass drum was sending gate to trigger some sounds in the modular synth. In this case, it was triggering envelopes to open up filters on different sounds. And I had placed the cicada on snare wires on a snare in front of the drum kit and sending it sounds from the FX end of my mixer. After setting up and playing around a bit, I realized that the drums were leaking too much into the contact mic, so I decided to reamp some sounds after the performance that I could layer on top of the original sounds. These sounds were recorded using the contact mic and a small condenser. So first of all, I'll let you hear how it sounds with the contact mic. and with the condenser mic. What I did with these sounds is I took both tracks, the contact mic and the condenser mic. I doubled it, well I copy pasted it twice so that I would have four tracks and I made them out of sync so that textures would flow into each other. And I put the Panman plugin on each track so that the sounds would move around and wave into each other to create an ambience. This new sound was layered on top of the whole performance. I'll let you hear how the original track sounded going through the cicada into the snare with the drums getting picked up by the contact mic at the same time. So as you can hear, the contact mic on the snare is so sensitive that it picks up a lot of the drums and it overpowers the synth. But I still found that that sound, the blend of the drums and the synth, was interesting when compressed. So I used that in the mix and you can mostly hear it as a delay on the snare. If you listen carefully to the drums, when I do a hit you'll hear the echo going from the drums into the new snare and gets picked up by the contact mic. And so there's a delay in there. If I was to redo this, I think I would try to find a way to isolate the snare and the cicada so that I wouldn't have the drum sound leak into it as much. So maybe put it in a different room with longer cables or something like that. In my recordings, I really like to alter sounds physically by using amps to reamp into a room or a binaural head to move the sound physically in a space or I'll send sounds at different speeds and bring it back down to exaggerate the sound of the space I like the blend of the dry signal of synths mixed with a more organic version of that same sound in order to create depth and layering in recordings. And so my goal for future albums is to get more and more into a live performance and less into multi-tracking. And so having more ways to route the audio into physical spaces or physical objects while playing is something I will want to explore in the future. I hope you liked the video, the explanation and the different sounds. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.